Welcome to Eat Treat Love. Come on in. Here are my personal recommendations for manifesting love. We have our Rose Quartz Lavender Diffuser. Hmm, this is our top seller. A wonderful crystal rose quartz sphere that you can just feel all the energy of love. And of course, for the candle lovers, we also have it here. Rose quartz points is the number one thing that you should have at your home. And that's my personal recommendations for manifesting love. Visit us online or visit us at e Love in Los Angeles. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Let me explain how it works. Um, I'll be using this deck and this deck. These are a little explicit. Um, so I won't be able to show you what it is. This deck, this deck, this deck. Okay, so, and then these are my grand reveal, it's called. In the extended, I do oracle readings at the same time. Let's begin for the Pisces. Why do I keep hearing exercise? I heard that in the previous reading with the aqua. Okay. Okay, let me see. But exercise sometimes is caution also. Someone might be adding you in a group, or maybe a group chat, like, or you're, you're enrolling in a group because I see a group and it's all going up. All of you are going up, climbing. Something, letter A, we go up. Okay, something like that. And it's, I see a lot of gold. So, I don't know. I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. You got a page of wands, the nine of pentacles, the sun, and the two of swords. Okay. Now, I feel like you have come afar, Pisces from young and innocent to this grown women independent. You know, we've all been there. <laughs> young women, <laughs> young money. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles shows a person who's healthy, able to provide for herself. Um, she she is amazing. It's, let's look at it that way, where she doesn't need anybody appro anybody's approval. She's confident, she's secure. This is where you're coming from. You've come from far. You used to be probably, you know, dependent on people, relationship, but now you're here. When a person knows who they are, that's when they shine and you're shining. And the sun is here. Mm -hmm. I would greet you a happy birthday right away, of course, uh, um, you know, for your season, for Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. But take this as your happy birthday read. I know it's still in Capricorn, sidereal, aqua, and... <laughs> Aqua then Pisces, I know. But I just love that you're having a moment. I like a good moment, okay? The sun over here with the two of swords, if this is just your energy, this is your goals, right? Two of swords with the sun card. I want to see myself in the light, okay? So that's why I say it sends gold. Now, this is meeting a soulmate, two of swords. Um, I, I'm gonna change my, okay. I wanna do this card, okay? I wanna see who's this soulmate of yours with the sun card. Okay. okay. Now, the sun is 19. Okay. There's 19. So I'm going to get nine cards to explain your soulmate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the nine reasons that this is your soulmate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I've never done this. There's a different spread. Like, it just gives giving. Two of sources, they would have to decide now because I feel like it's new, it's young, it's fresh. Oh, we're in this. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Now, the sun, of course, is a person who is dignified. Mm -hmm. This can be a, a person who probably is famous, works for the government, or um, somewhat of a social status with the sun card. Now, the two of swords, they do think a lot, um, meaning um, before they, they make a decision or choice. So they process. Okay. They process. You got a two of pentacles. You get the will of fortune. You get a justice card. Ooh, and ready for marriage. Ooh, but with the seven of swords. Okay. 
Look at you. Nine of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune, Pisces. This is your time, okay? Luck is in your favor. I need you to take more chances. Mm -hmm. Do a scratch off. I don't know. Don't just scratch anything in your, you know, in your body. Scratch something that gives value. Go to a gas station right now and just put some five dollar. I don't support gambling because it's some uh, gambling. But if luck is in your favor, luck is in your favor. In three months from now, the moment that your birthday comes, I feel like, I feel like I'm a what do you call? It? Um, fairy godmother. In the time of your birthday, when Jupiter goes to Pisces, you will have tremendous expansion of your life. Happiness, a such glow will come into light. Your eyes will start to glow like mesmerizing everyone. Attractive. Two of Pentacles with a page of once you're busy, okay? So your clients, your booking, you have activities, you're out in the world. So let me just say this. Whatever is going on in the planet, it's over in three months. Because so <laughs> you're out. If you're out, then everybody's out. Seven of Swords with a Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. Let me see. This person is hesitant. They do have a tendency to hide themselves. This is your person. Okay. Um, seven of Swords. I, I want to know what they're hiding from you. And I want to know what they want to work with you as far as your soulmate. Because the justice is ready to marry. All right. And, you know, signed, still delivered. Wheel of Fortune, here is your opportunities. Oh, if it's money, honey, <laughs> we're gonna get a money card. Oh, I'm gonna get my Egyptian. Okay. This is Neferti. Okay. Neferti Tarot. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let me see your luck. Okay. Now, there's 10 reasons why you should be happy. Oh, we're gonna get 10 for Wheel of Fortune. Oh, gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God, this is the most generous spread ever. More than Kylie. So this is 10 reasons that you are going to be lucky with the Wheel of Fortune. So I need you to repeat after me. Money, honey. Okay? So let's continue. I'm just going to continue with, the, with this deck. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, everything right now is just going the way it's supposed to. You are in the, in the rhythm of the... You know, like your life, your cycle, you're not going against it. You're just going and going and going and going. Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. Hello, Dristi. When Jupiter aspects the fifth and the seventh. Romance of a lifetime, darling. I've seen it. It has manifested. Hold on, because, you know, when Jupiter also transits your fifth. <laughs> <laughs> so some people will transit in their fifth, some people will transit in their seventh. So meaning you can either fall in love with a Leo or you can fall in love with a Scorpio. Because <laughs> that's in their five and seven. Okay. You're in the first house. Okay. I did the math for you there. Three of Cups can be starting with friends first, acquaintances, cutesy. Oh, look at this dashing debonair, younger than you. A little bit, maybe like two, three years gap. Mm -hmm. Not that young. I mean, how old are you anyway? You're like what? You look like you're 21. <laughs> so there is there is no age bashing here. Okay, calm your TITS. Um, with the Pager Cups over here, they're very, very much like... I feel it comes from money also. Like the family has good breeding, you know. <laughs> what good breeding? <laughs> Oh my god, what is this about? No, okay, so this person has a lot of secrets. Okay. Personal life, personal life. They like to show that they are an adult, but with a tower over here, they're going through something. They're in a phase. Before you met them. Oh. Is there a movie called Before I Met You? I think so. <laughs> or Till I Met You. Before you met this person, they're going through something difficult in their life. Once you meet this person, they're over that. Okay? I'm gonna see this love of yours. Ace of Cups, show me, reveal to me this love. Mm-hmm. Because this love is new. Mm -hmm. This love is new. <sighs> yes. Okay. Because Jupiter brings something new to you. You have the seven of wands. The only reason why you're getting this kind of love is because you're very selective. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's like, yep, I know what I want. And I don't, you know, I don't play. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let me see. You got a strength card. And you know when to say no. Okay. With a strength card. So some, of course, with the three of cups, you're resisting a reconciliation. That's good. You know where you stand. Mm -hmm. Judgment over here. Okay, so the person probably has been divorced, separated, uh, um, lawyer, justice card. I don't know, maybe a judge, a superintendent. I don't know. Okay, but they work for the government. 
Um, with the judgment over here, a bay leaf, why not? Okay. <laughs> um, with the judgment over here, it shows that they're always trying to do the right thing. They're removing blockages and obstacles in their life and they're trying to follow a spiritual path. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like they put they just recently put a down payment on an apartment, a condo, or something that they're moving into because they just move out. So the person is relocating right now. Link down there in the description box below as we reveal finally one, your soulmate with this, uh, I don't know, nine cards, 10 cards, 19. Okay, there's 19 there. There's so many things that we're going to reveal. The grand reveal will be an extended as the love of your life is finally here. I'll see you guys again. Bye.